Today, it's all about eggs. Oh. All right, we're gonna be making eggs three different ways for you guys, all right? Hard boiled eggs, over easy eggs, and omelets. First, we're gonna do hard boiled eggs, all right? So the ingredients for hard boiled eggs, let's get to them. All right, guys, first step in hard boiled eggs is you gotta boil water, all right? So, take the eggs. Oh shit. Sometimes it's hot, so you don't wanna fuck it. You don't want to break. Oh. So now that they're in there, we're gonna lower it and let it sit in there for 10 minutes. All right, so the eggs have been cooking for 10 minutes. When you uh, take the eggs out, all right, so I'm straining the water. So a lot of times when you make hard boiled eggs, it's really tough to um, crack the shell. When you put hard boiled eggs directly into very cold water, the shell cracks off really easy. All right, so we took out the cold water. Let's see how easy the shell comes off. Yeah, it's not sticking to the egg like that. So look, no snags, perfect hard boiled egg because we put the egg in cold water after we boiled it. So while I'm in fight camp and stuff like that, it's late at night, I kinda want something to eat. I'll hard boil a bunch of eggs and I'll eat the egg whites at night and have the protein to sleep with. Hard boiled eggs have about three and a half grams of protein in each egg white serving. One full hard boiled egg, one full egg in general has six grams of protein. Hurry. So we're making egg white omelets. Let's get to the freaking ingredients, all right? Obviously you need freaking eggs to make an egg white omelet, all right? Next, we're gonna go a little healthier, okay? So we're putting spinach in it, cause greens are good for you, every single time. Then we're gonna put in red bell peppers, white onion, and cheese, please, cause it's delicious. That's it. We're gonna cook our um, our egg whites in coconut oil. The reason why I like coconut oil is it is a healthy fat. And your body will have to use the fat, like the uh, coconut oil fat, as energy first, rather than store it. First, we're gonna saute our veggies. Right now, we're, we we just put in the onion. Now we're adding the spinach, and then we will conclude. So you put your eggs in after you're done sauteing it. Get your bottle full of egg whites, suck it in. Oh! <laughs> We're have another go at it. Got it! Suck it in, boom. So now we're adding the eggs to our sauteed veggies. We flipped over our eggs because one side's done. Put the cheese on top. Now just fold her on over. Let her, let her get in there. Not my best looking omelet. That's still good. Still good for you. All right, the last type of eggs we're gonna be doing are over easy eggs. I like my over easy eggs on Avocado spread Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread usually comes frozen, so we're going to have to throw them in the, to in the toaster. And it's got a nice little toast finish to it. Um, but Ezekiel bread is good because it comes, there's no sh added sugar to it like most breads. And it's like all organic, you know, good stuff. Alright, toast is done, Ezekiel bread. Now, we're gonna add our avocado. This avocado is pretty ripe still, but we're gonna make way with it. It's still gonna be good. Usually mush is a little better than that, but we got to down. All right, now for your over easy egg. Uh oh, fail, 
epic fail. You know what? We're getting the oak out of there. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No! <laughs> so what I'm gonna do with this extra egg, it's just gonna be a little extra egg for our toast. And then these are gonna be our hard boiled eggs. I mean, our over easy eggs. It's called over easy because you gotta put them over easy. Put them over hard, they're gonna break. Once they go over though, can't let them sit there too long because otherwise they'll cook through. So for example, this guy, he's done. I want my eggs runny. So I want my toast to catch it. All right guys, that wraps up this edition of Cooking with the Menace. Today, we made eggs. Today we wore eggs. Side note, if you do eat the yolk, like I'm about to do right here, yolk has healthy fats. The only thing, the thing is about yolk is it's got, it's high in cholesterol. But one egg yolk a day is actually like right in the range of cholesterol that you should have a day. So one yolk a day is actually recommended. Yolk also has antioxidants and healthy fats that are good for you. And a few more grams of protein. So, when making omelets, throw one yolk in there when you're making an egg white omelet. Or throw two in there, hey, go crazy. So right now on this toast, we've got healthy fats in the avocado and healthy fats in the yolk. We've got protein in both the yolk and the egg whites. And we have a few carbs in our bread. Well proportioned, very colorful breakfast. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Cook with the Menace. I'm gonna enjoy my uh, egg toast. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. How does it make you feel? Warm inside. So I don't need a machine. Then you take your bread and you dip it back in there. This has become eating with the menace. <laughs> <laughs>